What's going on guys, it's Walter Moose here, and I'm bringing you Reliving the Classics episode 5, I think it is, but it's Call of Duty 4 episode 2, and uh, I'm here with my friend Squishy, or or Alex, and uh, hey guys, what's going on? Yeah. Squishy. So, um, yeah, I'm playing Call of Duty 4 here with the M48 COG, uh, I forget what this map's called, Crash? No, it's not, it's not uh, Crash. Crossfire. Crossfire. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so Alex, uh, just started a new channel. Wait, no, wait, silence for this triple. Oh yeah, tri tri triple nade right here. We, we thought we, we thought, thought it was five. Man. Yeah, we thought we thought it was five, so we were kind of kind of going crazy, like, oh my god, plus twenty five. But we're, we're idiots. Yeah, so. well, look back at it in slow mo. It's not five. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's, don't it's, worry. it's three. <laughs> so um, yeah, Alex just started a new channel. I think what was it today or yesterday? Oh today. Oh today, all right. And um, what, what kind of channel is it? You want to describe uh, it? Yeah. So basically, what I'm trying to do with this channel is I'm trying to reach out to people who want to start editing, and uh, they they really don't know how. That's putting it in the most basic terms that I can. Um, you know, I know you, for example, when I was recording one of my videos, you said, oh, I just learned a few things from just listening to you record it. Yeah. And, um, I, what I, cause, like, you, you look at all the tutorials, and you'll see people, like, say it's a, you know, say it's a, an effect tutorial, and they'll be like, press S on the keyboard, hit control, drag it out, but you don't know what that does, you're just following them around. So what I kind of want to do is just kind of show everybody how to use the programs, you know, basic basic things to do on the programs. Uh, the programs all we're working with is Sony Vegas 10, After Effects CS5, and 740. Um, I'm not claiming to be like a professional or anything. Um, I do like editing, and I think I'm pretty good at it. And um, I just and you know I want to be one of the one of the people that kind of look uh, reaches out mainly towards the small smaller people who want to. You know, just basic edit, not not you know phase clan edit or anything like that. Just want to do basic edits for their montages or basic edits for edits for whatever. So uh, yeah, that's basically what I want to do with the channel. Yeah, I, I like that idea because um you know if you're if you're doing small stuff and not just like you know hold your hand type things is uh what, what I like to call it. You know yeah. Instead of just saying you know like press S yeah, right you, here you and know what, you know what press S and drag it out. Like, you you can say like, you know yeah. press S means you know split, yeah, yeah. but but like um. I mean, you're not just telling them exactly how to do it, and that, yeah. that's that's really the way to do it. Because I mean, if you're telling exactly how to how to do certain things, then they're not gonna learn anything. Yeah. So, you so know, I think that's definitely the best way I, to go. I was also thinking like uh, just making an intro video t for each program, uh, Sony Vegas After Effects, yeah, that's a good Sony idea, and uh, Cinema 4D, and then you know making maybe a few tutorials for each, editing a few, uh, wow, putting up a few editing packs for each, and uh, and we'll see what goes on from there. Yeah, that's that's a good idea because I actually. I've never used Cinema 4D or or uh, After Effects, but I mean, obviously, I'm doing I'm doing Vegas right now because that's what we're, we're doing this commentary on. But um, you know, I, I know I only know a few things about Vegas. I I probably know most of the stuff that you put in your intro to Vegas video, but anything else you really put in, I probably wouldn't know. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's that's what I want to do. You know, people probably know the intro to Vegas stuff, but if they don't, it's it's good to watch anyway. Yeah, it's it's always there because I know when I first got Vegas, I didn't know how to do anything yeah. and. And I had to look up a video like that, so I think if you if you do a video like that, I'm sure they're gonna help it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So just check me out. Uh, the annotation should be on the screen. Yeah, annotation yeah. will be on the screen, and uh, description will it'll be in the description too. So. Uh, yeah. If you have any questions, for me, just send me a message. Should be should be putting a video out soon. So. Oh, that's good. Yep. All right. So do you want to talk about COD for a little bit? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Uh, first question: How high does it rank on your? favorites for Call of Duty uh, overall? Being as it's the Call of Duty that I started with for online. Uh, rank as in like 1 through 10 or rank as in... Rank as in through the Call of Duty, so it's let's just say... It's gotta be up there. Uh, up there. You think, you think probably, 1? Probably 1. 1. Yeah. 1 or 2. Uh, the only one I have to debate with it is uh, Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd say that. And uh, that's just because I, that game just appealed to me. I don't know why. Yeah. It, it yeah. No, it definitely did to a lot of people, and I loved Modern Warfare 2 until, you know, all the BS just started coming yeah. out. But we're not here to talk about Modern Warfare 2, yeah, we're talking no, about COD 4. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, about you, though? Call of Duty 4 would probably be number 2 on my list. Um, World at War. Maybe 3. World at War would definitely be number 1. Yeah. Black Ops might have been in it, but I don't really think is that, so. Is that because of your, like, uh, success in Black Ops that you've had? Yeah. It probably is. Um, you know, I talked in the last year in the classic episode about how I had almost a 2.0 in Black Ops, and I mean, Black Ops was the easiest Call of Duty I would say by far. Yeah. I mean, I'm, so I'm not trying to brag about having yeah, a 2.0 yeah. or anything, but it definitely was the best one that I've ever played. Yeah. So I don't know if it would be number two, but Call of Duty 4 has got to be up there just for the fact that it's a you know massive classic. And, yeah. 
Yep. And World of War, the only reason why World of War beats it is because it was the first one I played, just like yeah, Alex yeah. said, Call of Duty 4. I think, I think the so. first one that you play really hits home every time you play it, because you just like, wow, well, I remember on Christmas when I first played this map, and you know, you, re you remember the times that you were oh, yeah. playing. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, yeah, the, the, this is definitely one of my one of my favorites. Uh, it's either one or two. I can't. I, I'd probably have to go back on Modern Warfare 2, and uh, doing that would probably be a mistake. <laughs> Yeah, I, was, I probably I would put it down probably to number seven. For me, really. Yeah, I, I I had a lot of trouble getting a really good classics episode for it, but uh, I finally did. And it wasn't really that good of a gameplay, but <laughs> yeah, I, I just. Uh... But yeah, Call of Duty 4. I mean, this game's pretty good, especially with the M40. I mean, I do snipe a, probably more than the average person, I'd say, because the average person probably doesn't snipe almost at all. I mean, that's something <laughs> that bothers me though about this game. Yeah. I mean, I I guess I'm not gonna tell people how to play the game. Yeah. But if you if you're tenth prestige, fifty five, why why not give sniping a try? You know, I'm yeah. not telling you to quick scope. I'm not pounding you to quick scope. But just give it a try. You know? yeah. If you don't like it, then that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's something Call of Duty always has to deal with. I guess it's just yeah. kind of like the plague of quick yeah. scopers. And I mean, I, I wouldn't consider myself a quick scoper or anything like that because I don't do it all the time, but I do do it probably more than often. But, uh, Being as the MSR Mono for 3 is uh, my most killed weapon, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I, I can say that I do quick scope yeah. but fair. fair. My, mine's the all in one, so I can probably say the same. But, but uh, actually, on that, on the sniper's topic, uh, what's your favorite weapon? Because I assume it'll be a sniper. In but... uh, Call of Duty 4? <laughs> yeah, in Call of Duty 4. Oh, uh, by far the M48. Uh, yeah, I had, a, I had a feeling it'd be that. Um, um, I, I was just monstrous with this thing yeah. at the time. I, it, it was incredible. I don't know. I, I don't really know why, to be honest with you. It's, you know, it's, it's just a nice gun. I, I, I really do like it. It's enjoyable, in, in my yeah. opinion. But. And I feel like the sniping is balanced. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, there's no... If you notice, there's no, like, sleight of hand pro yeah, that makes yeah. you zoom in faster, or even yeah. quick draw, which is the perk that makes yeah. you zoom in faster. It's it's just kind of in the game. And that's kind of what I want in future Call of Duty. It's like... I don't think there needs to be a perk for it. I think it should just yeah. be like you know in there. It shouldn't, but there shouldn't. Yeah, sorry, you shouldn't be zooming in as fast as you do a quick draw in Modern yeah. Warfare 3 because I actually made it like easy. I mean, yeah, like, like I, when they said they were catering to quick scopers, I was like, wow, you know, this is good because Black Ops was just atrocious. Yeah, quick Black scoping. Ops is. is and really so good I was quick. like, wow, Modern Warfare 3, they're actually gonna like listen to the community and kind of you know help out the people that want quick scope. But you know, after about a couple months of playing, I was just like, wow, this is way too easy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I know it was like, like me, I mean, you, you know me, I mean, I wasn't the best quick scope or yeah, anything yeah. like that. I, I was probably worst, a little but... bit above average, but I wasn't too good. Yeah, yeah. And then in Modern Warfare 3, I've gotten a lot of stuff, and it, I mean, to be honest, it's really just because it's, it's too easy, in my opinion. But, hey, I mean... That's what that's really what I do like about Call of Duty 4. It's it's yeah. bare bones, I guess. Yeah. It's really what it is. Yeah. And, and uh, we we were talking earlier about how you know we hope Mono uh, Black Ops <laughs> 2 will kind of I don't know rede redeem Call of Duty series. Redeem redeem the Call of Duty series. I guess you can say. Yeah, because I don't know. It's been getting to a point where it's all based on kill streaks, in my opinion. And it's based on just kills. Yeah, it's kills nothing only. Nothing else. It's not based on you know having Objective fun or play. Like There's that. like I mean, I, I was in a game the other day, and I was playing Domination, and I uh, was capping the flags, and I got yelled at after the game by the other team, telling <laughs> me to stop capturing the flags. Yeah. And, uh, that, that was just a bit ridiculous. Yeah, that, that's... When it comes to that, you know that there's something wrong. But, um... You know, what I liked about Call of Duty 4 is it didn't cater to the bad players, like Death Streaks and things like that, too. Yeah. You know, like... Yeah. Modern Warf the the latest Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 made a huge mistake in yeah. putting Death Streaks and that was that's just despicable. Yeah. Well, you know, hopefully we'll be seeing uh, some good good stuff in Black Ops 2. But oh, uh, yeah. that's the end of this game. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if you want to check out Alex's channel, it'll be in the description or on the annotation right now. Yeah. And uh, see you later.